guys, how are you going? I thought I'd make a little video for you to uh, follow along, um, just to give you a little bit more practice in making a few uh, documents in Illustrator. So what we're going to do is flip over to Illustrator and open up a, a new document. I'm just going to click Web, click OK. I'm going to remove this. OK, and so here we have Illustrator. For those um, that are new to Illustrator, then you have your tools on the left hand side here. Okay, so if you're you're looking for a certain type of tool, a pen tool, or you're looking to draw a shape, or make a line, pencil tool, brush tool, got a pen tool in here as well. We'll be using a couple of these today. Um, we've also got a gradient tool that we'll be looking at. Um, this is a transform tool. So there's a few tools here that uh, you'll learn slowly during the course to use. And over on the right hand side here, we have our panels, and these panels can slide in and out. So we can click on them. There are some presets in Illustrator that you can set up. So you can have essentials. And you'll see that my all my tools readjusted and my panels adjusted to that particular setting. So if you're doing print work, then sometimes it's more convenient to choose the printing settings. Um, so we'll, we'll stick with essentials for today. We're going to make a few little things, a few little objects um, in today's class and draw a couple shapes. So the first one that we're going to draw is a fish. So I'm just going to go out and grab the Eclipse tool. So if you hold down your mouse over the Rectangle tool by default, and then you can just drag down to the Eclipse tool, I'm going to start drawing a circle, and as I draw the circle, I'm going to hold shift down on the keyboard. And I'll just draw it to about that size. So now I've got a perfect circle because I held down shift. Okay. If I then go back over to my tools palette, I can click on the pen tool, and I want to insert four points in between the points that are already here. So these little points allow us to be able to um, move the object so I can insert some new ones just add those points like so alright and we'll keep on drawing our fish go over and grab the white arrow tool and this tool allows us to select directly one of the points so you can see I've just selected that top one and I can either drag, click and drag down I can hold down the shift key to constrain my drag or I can use the arrow keys which takes a little bit of time but if I hold down shift as well then we move in larger increments okay so I'm going to do that for the tail alright so there's my my fish starting to take some take shape I'm going to add a point above this middle point and a point below so I've got three points over on this side now that are close together go back to my white arrow tool and click on the middle point and I'm just going to use my arrow keys to push that in. Okay, so I've got the fish's mouth. Last thing that we'll include is an eye. And once again, I'm holding down the shift key. And this time, I'd also like you to hold down the space bar at the same time, okay? So that allows me to be able to move my object around by holding the space bar down. And then I can have more control over where I position it. So I might just give you a chance to do that again. If you make a circle, you can hold down shift to constrain the shape. And then if you hold down the space bar, it allows you to be able to move it. So I'm just going to make that up. the eye a little bit smaller again. Hold down the space bar and move it into place. Okay, I'm just going to click on my fish that I've drawn now. And double click on the white fill and give it a color, add a blue. All right, so that's a fish drawn. Okay, the next one we're going to have a look at is drawing a little drop a water drop, so I'm going to draw a circle again and this time I'll make a nice circle holding down the shift key. I'm going to go over to my white selection tool. This will allow me to select points, so I'll click on that top point and then just use the arrow keys to push up the, the point. And then I'm going to go over to the pen tool and we're going to have a look at a new tool. This is the convert anchor point tool. And if we click on this, then it will make our point 
nice and sharp. Okay, so there's our nice sharp angle. And now I'm going to add a gradient to this tool. So uh, to this shape, sorry. So I'm going to go over to my my color swatches panel over here. Okay, swatches. Click on that. And I'm going to show you guys. There's a whole heap of colors. These are the default that you've that you get, but there's a whole heap of colors that we can choose from. So you can see your default swatches, which is what is in this um, the palette right now in the color palette. But we've also got many books and different color properties, and there's gradients, and that's what we're going to have a look at. So we might just go have a couple, have a look at a couple different library palettes that are available to us. So we've got our brights in here, you can flick through. There's a whole heap of different gradients that are already set up for us. And I'm going to go for simple radial and I'll just choose maybe this purple. Click that and then it will be applied to our object. Now if it isn't applied just select it. Once more click using the black arrow tool, select the object and then go back and click on the radial box and I can just click through. Okay, now that we've got our gradient applied, we can use the gradient tool and we can position that gradient. So I'm just clicking on this bar on the black dot and I can move the gradient around. I can extend the gradient and make it longer, smaller. Um, you have other handles out here, this will grow the gradient or it can shrink it in the center and this one allows us to grow out from all sides so you can also spin the gradient around as well rotate it and the last thing that's great about this gradient tool is that you can click if you just click hard down on your mouse on, along this bar then you can add a new point so we can double click on that and then we can change the gradient colors so you can start to create some pretty cool gradient effects. These allow us to adjust the strength. So I can make that a little bit stronger. Change the gradient. Change the purple. And I want to change that gray back to, to black. So I'll double click on it. It's not working. There it is. All right, and so then I've got a nice little drop that I've made. What happened? There we go. Just reposition the gradient. Cool. Um, next one we're going to have a look at. Now that we've had a go at making a little drop and a fish, is to make a shirt. So once again, clicking on our our shape tool, shape um, tool. We can go to star, and we're going to draw a star. This time, I'm just going to hold down shift. Okay, we've got a nice gradient that's applied. I might remove that so I can double click on my fill. And I'm also going to remove the stroke. So this black line here, the stroke, I'm going to remove that. So now my star doesn't have a stroke. I'm going to go to the pen tool and I'm going to add an object, oh, sorry, I'm going to add a point just above this point here and another one on the other side. Go to my white arrow key and just use my arrows to push that point up. Maybe a little bit over as well. So again, pushing it up a little bit over. I'll grab this top point and pull it down. Grab this lower point and pull it down. I've got snap to point turned on and smart guides. This will allow me to, what you just saw a second ago, it snapped down to the, to the horizontal line. So you might want to turn that on as well over here to the convert to anchor point and this time instead of just clicking once click and drag and you'll see that you're able to create a smooth 